How you doing, y'all? Welcome to Nappy and Jay, and now ISO. Yo. Welcome to the show. What's poppin'? Um, on today's meet, we're going to be talking about everything. Yay. <laughs> Wherever the fuck we want to talk about. Let's go. ISO, you, hey. you fuck with this music, bro? Yeah, it's getting the vibe right. Yeah. This is some good shit. <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting the vibe right. It's good. Was popping. So on today's show, we're gonna start with Nappy's Internet Moments, as we always do. Um, we have two tweets that have the word bitches in it, so you know it's gonna be good. Um, we're also gonna play a little sound bite of a little bit of inspiration from our man ISO over here, and we're gonna break down a little bit of a video that he had and he made for us on Instagram. Yes. Um, and then on Jay's Peculiar Mind, I'm gonna be talking about intersex people, which are fucking dope because they have both vaginas and dicks. Wow. So you know you're dope. <laughs> if you got both, you're down for some shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then on today's beat, we're gonna be talking about some random ass shit. Um, you're gonna hear from everything from Horton Hears a Who to I don't even know whatever yeah. fucking comes to our brain. Yeah. We're about to get a little bit toasted, and we're gonna get you a nice little piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, let's go. Nappy's Internet moments. Welcome to Nappy's Internet moments. It's on the internet, and it's my moment. It's my moment. Let me shine. All right. So first up, we actually got a little inspiration from ISO that we wanted to play. Let's just roll the clip, and then we'll uh, we'll break it down. Roll it. Now, this is a topic that I think, for whatever reason, people are just scared to address, but it needs to be addressed. It's going to have a significant impact on both your productivity and on your sustainability. Now, what I'm talking about here is peeing in the shower. Now, for me, it's not a very complex decision. If you're not <laughs> peeing in the shower, you're a waster. You're wasting <laughs> both your time and you're wasting water. Time and water are two of the most important, if not the most important resources that you have. Water, they say that the third world war is gonna be fought over water and you're <laughs> wasting it by not peeing in the shower time you can never get back and you could be spending it with your loved ones you could be spending it bettering yourself but you're not because you're using the toilet before you get in the shower not peeing in the shower who what what made you come up with this did you like wake up and you're like yo i gotta pee and you're like yo i can't be wasting water i just think it wasn't like a new thing i've been peeing in the shower but i just had a, a good shower piss that day and i was like why am i doing this you know it started with just looking at myself yeah. like why am i doing this turns out it made it makes a lot of sense yeah but but okay okay you say that time is one of the reasons to pee in the shower but doesn't it take the can it can it take the same amount of time to not pee in the shower as it does in wait, the shower wait, like 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 what's the difference wait, between what? What, like either way are you, are you shampooing while you're peeing so whenever you switch tasks there's gonna be a time cost there okay right? yeah, yeah. Just in the shower and I let it fly because if i'm in the toilet then i maybe i lift the lid i gotta yeah, yeah there's a lot situate to myself it. i gotta aim i gotta that's you true know. i mean i mostly sit especially in the morning <laughs> I, I never stand and pee in the morning. I also sit in the morning. I do too. Yeah, exactly. I, I sit like not only in the morning. <laughs> it's like every time. It's just like a nice little break. Yeah, I know. You know. I feel like girls like kind of have that privilege. Like they think it's like cool to stand and pee, but it's only cool to stand and pee when you got to go outside. But like when I'm indoors, I mean, I'm kind of down to sit. The good thing though is that like you don't have to wipe your dick though. Girls have to wipe <laughs> yeah. their vagina. Like like it's like like they shat. They have like a little bit of dribble. Well, especially if you're in the shower, you don't have to wipe shit. Oh, you don't have to wipe shit. Yeah. So another that's another saver. thing. The so last time I peed on someone trees. was in the shower. Oh. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I've never dude, done that, but that sounds fun. See, people think it's like for pleasure. And like, I get it. I get why they think that. You know, some people get turned, I don't know if you knew this, but people get turned on about getting peed on. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, we you're talked about that. it. Yes. We talked about it. Yeah. Harley, Harley really fucks yeah, with that shit. Yeah, yeah, she fucks with that. But see, like, I rediscovered it. I actually just enjoy it from a from like a personal mental standpoint. Getting oh. peed on or peeing on? No, no, on? peeing on. Is that like a power thing? Yeah, it's kind of like shooting a gun. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're with your person or anybody that will allow you to pee on them in the shower, I think you should I think you should go for do it. Do you ask for consent or do you just... See, I think the first time you kind of have to just go. Oh. You know what I mean? If you just start going... Then what are they going to say? Then what are they going to say? They're you just say like... you're in the shower. 
You know what I mean? They're not going to be This mad. is where I pee. Yes, yeah, it's I, a natural power. reaction. Exactly. You're in here with me. It's, and it's just like it's hitting natural. their leg and then slowly start to move it up. And that's when they start to freak out. Moving it up? <laughs> how high? How high? Go? I, how high? <laughs> Anything above the waist is sus. Above the waist. Hitting... <laughs> Damn, you got that art, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Steph Curry in this bitch. All right. First tweet. Uh, passing ISO story here. This is a girl, a chick. We break up with you and you hit bitches up. N words hit me up. We not the same, baby. Essentially, this girl is saying guys have to hit up girls when they break up, but girls get hit up when they get broken up with. So they got it easy. That's you know what true. I mean? It's kind of bullshit. It like is. when you're a guy and you get broken up with, you're kind of screwed. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah, unless you already have like names ready. Oh, you got a, you got a little roster. I'm not me. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I got names to go through. Not me, but but if you did, then you're good. No, that's what's... I mean, isn't it? I feel like it's so easy to be a girl. It definitely... Like, like just in that sense. In terms of, like, finding a mate. Yes, 100%. Well, it's good for them that guys hit them up. Like, I can have girls not hit me up, and my self-esteem is fine. That's you true. Know what I'm saying? Oh, that is true. So you're saying that, like, girls will have... Yeah, I guess it's really hard. I feel like a, a girl's image is more important to her than it is to guys. Facts. Which goes into, you know, why they take longer to get ready and all that stuff. Yeah. And guys hitting them up is that being validated. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it would be nice if girls hit me up, though. That shit would be easy. It would, be it would nice. make no. me feel so good. But, I'd be like, shit. But it also, you have to think about it. It is actually shittier for the girl that doesn't get hit up. Because that, would suck. that means that like that's like the lowest of the low. I feel oh. like I feel bad. That's like the, that's the worst you would feel, right? Because if you're a guy and you're not yeah. getting hit up, you could be like a dope ass guy and not get hit up, but or a loser and not get hit up. <laughs> Whereas like if you're a girl, most of the time you're getting hit up, and if you're not, then yeah. sorry yeah, for it you. Sucks. It I sucks. feel like I feel like girl. Everybody's kind of got a roster. I think what you're trying to say. Like, I don't believe that at <laughs> all. I, I mean, that's, that is not what I'm saying because I think most people don't have rosters. I I feel like everybody it's it's, it's half it's, and it's, half. It's it's, it's self conscious. It's you don't really know it, but you have a list going on in the back of your mind. Like if you break up, you've got a couple people that you're probably gonna reach out to. Not 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 incel. What did bro. you do last time you were drunk? Which was last night. Uh, <laughs> Tell us about it. I the just, spree you went on. I, I just I just hit up people, my friends, bro. <laughs> That, that happened to be girls. I was just like, yo, Jay, I haven't talked to you for seven years. How Jay, you doing? Jay talks to me today. He's like, yo, I got drunk as fuck last night. I just started messaging people. He's like, yeah, I just need more girlfriends. Like, <laughs> like actual friends. <laughs> you just started like messaging out of the blue. Like, hey. Wait, what was the one you were like, hey, what's up? Like, I know I was a dick to you. But and like, if you don't want to hit me back up, just don't tell anybody that I messaged you. <laughs> That That's happened. fucking buck wild. <laughs> but then I deleted it because I realized I was drunk as fuck, so I pressed unsend. I don't know if that works. Though. I don't think that works. On Instagram, it says you can press unsend, so I press unsend. Wait, you could unsend messages on Instagram now? Yes. Right? So oh, it does fuck. work. So, so you didn't I got So it didn't even go through. I didn't know. Because I, oh I, I looked God. at it, and I was like, dude, I'm too drunk for this. <laughs> All right, next one. And it's also another chick. Um, are you social distancing with other bitches? Yes or no? I said this one's for you. I'm not social distancing <laughs> with other bitches. Well, uh, see, it's a trick question. But it's also like... It's a trick question because I, you should be saying yes. If I am, yeah, right? You, you said no. That if, means you're, you're you're not distancing. That means I don't have distance yeah. between me and other bitches. Yeah. It's a trick question. They're trying to get you. They got me. I am social distancing <laughs> with other bitches. And that shouldn't matter. I, yeah, I mean, that's my life 24-7 anyways. <laughs> Just, She's like constant social distancing. It happened before coronavirus. I, 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 I think they I think they're maintaining their social distance from me. Oh, <laughs> you're like, please get away from yeah. me. She's like, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you did before coronavirus? Yeah. He's just like, I mean, it wasn't my choice. <laughs> that that's sad, Jay. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, so I'm sorry. That one's like kind of a screw up for you because you're the one here in a relationship. So this is the only loaded question for you. Yeah, so. and I already fucked up. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let's let the rest of this ride. All right, All right uh, let's go over to Jay's Peculiar Mind. All right. Jay's Peculiar Mind. Random shit that will make you shit. That's right. Make us shit. That's what I'm doing. Us shit. Do. All right. All Not right. Not just me. So, so yesterday, ISO and I were talking <laughs> uh, on the balcony. Um, I think the conversation was first about like micro penises, and then you said that you were in a class and they were talking about intersex people who basically had such like tiny penises at birth that they didn't know whether they had a clit or a, a dick. 
Yes. So so then they would have <laughs> surgery. So I decided, I was like, yo, what the fuck is this intersex shit? This shit sounds like interesting to me. So I looked it up. One out of every 2,000 babies are apparently intersex. And basically what that means is, okay, if you look at it normally for chromosome-wise, you get a male and that's an XY, female XX. With an intersex baby, you get one extra chromosome. So it's either XXX, XYY, or XXY. That shit is technical as fuck, bro. The, the, Just tell us about it. <laughs> that, that's it. That's it. So you're coming out and basically you have um, both a dick and a, a vagina. Or you have some type of uh, like the inside of a female and then on the outside you have a dick sticking out. That's actually pretty sick. Like I kind of wish I had both. Do you? Yeah. I don't think so. But I wish I had it without, like, the baggage. Like, the periods, I'm good. The babies, I'm good. But if I could just have, like, a like an extra, you know, purse. So that's, so, so that's <laughs> like, like so dude, but I, I, okay, so the, the big thing is that at, when you, when they come out of the womb, the doctors have to make a choice whether to have the surgery or not to have the surgery and really pick whether they want to be male or, or female. And that's, like, a really hard choice. Um, Who this, makes that decision? The so, parents? So it's it's both the parents and then there's a gender committee that is formed with <laughs> with doctors, um, ethicists, um, psychologists, and sometimes even clergy. So like, time out. They get like the whole squad together. Yeah. They're like, "Yo, let's get the church down here. Let's they, yeah. get trying to figure out doctors. like what, what's the best what's the best route for the baby." The, the president shows yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "All right, phone. we gotta decide, male or female, for this one baby." The the fucked up part is like these kids that do get the surgery as babies, and then later f- figure out that they aren't actually the sex that the doctors chose for yeah, them. Yeah, because how the fuck would you know? It's just a little baby. Right, so it's kind of just a 50-50 shot in the dark. Instead of the whole getting the whole board together, they should just say so fucking and if flip you, a coin. If you were a parent, which one would you choose, girl or boy? It would be the feeling that I got from the baby. <laughs> oh, you, you would look. Wait, you wait, would, would look. you touch it a little bit? I, I would like. Would I would feel masculine traits or, okay. or feminine traits. No, okay. not, I wouldn't touch it physically. <laughs> you I would just like, feel the, I would the catch vibe. The, catch the, the vibe, the aura, bro. I think it's just going to be bloody. <laughs> do you, it's just gonna be kind of nasty looking out there. Do you think you should let the uh, kid like choose for himself when he's older, or do you think that'll fuck him up even more sometimes? Like, if, if you let the kid choose, then he grows up with like both or organs or whatever sexual That's, organs. See, but that would be my preference. But, like, why are you guys so against like, having both? You could like test him. You could put like a dress on the floor and like a boy outfit and like see which one he went for. <laughs> he crawls to <laughs> or like. Like put like a like a skinny margarita in front of oh, him yeah, and like yeah, a Jack yeah. and Coke and yeah. like see which one. See see what he drinks. <laughs> see which one he crawls you, over to. You can do a whole like test like a whole. <laughs> but like, how would you even do it? Like, is it worse later in life? Okay, so let me talk about circumcision for a second. Yes. Can you get like you can get circumcised later in life, At, like when you're like yeah. twenty? Yes. But 100%. but the problem with it is that uh, it there's like more complications to it. So if you if you get circumcised later in life, you have more likely um, like complications happen where you lose your sex drive, shit like that, because it's just it's oh, harder. Shit. Yeah. So like you don't really want to get circumcised later, later in, in the life. Game. The yeah. only reason you would do it is if there was like a problem with you. Exactly. Day. Oh, so you'd leave it. If you're uncircumcised. Or if you, you leave it. Or unless but that's you what I'm saying. To. So what if you wanted both organs and they didn't know that? They didn't know my choice when I came out. Dude, I don't think most people want both organs, bro. But and why, I don't why, think you okay, either. Why are you so against it? I'm not against it. Why are you against both? <laughs> <laughs> It I, sounds like you have a like a, a personal preference. I it's not fair. Both. It's I not think, fair for you because then you could go both ways. That's bro. what I'm saying. You could get a guy or a girl. Do you think that they feel pleasure in both? And I see those I questions. I, I should have researched this before <laughs> more heavily. I think it's easier for you to just have one overall. Exactly. As, as to maintain, life. yeah, probably. You have to learn two different organs. That might be a lot. Well, well, like think about it. If you have the female organs, they're inside you. So yeah. the, so it's like inside. It's not like you have a vagina on the outside. You still have a dick whoa, on the whoa, outside. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Time out. You're it's saying, it's it's it's. Do it's, I have a slit? No. I don't want it then. <laughs> that's what I, I'm I, I want it only if it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. So you have like balls on top of the slit. Like what? What do you? What do you think it looks that's like? A, I so what I would imagine is like on the front of like part of your body, you have a like a shaft and a, and a, and a pair of testicles, and then, then the vagina under. And you then have the a asshole. Slit. 
And yes. then, so it's like fucking everything. Everything. There's surgery you, for that. You can get that. Wait, I can get an add on? Today. Will you do that? <laughs> will, will you do like that? today. You can go get that. Yo, would shit. you put your dick inside the vagina if you had that? That's what I'm would saying. Would you fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Yo, would you be I able to bend your it. dick that, that way? Would be like, I would <laughs> see you would want you would probably want the slit on top. I don't know if you w- would you want it on top or on that the bottom. That would be hella weird looking. And then it's like, like imagine if girls had like their vagina where we had our dicks, just higher. Or do we have them in the same spot? And I'm crazy. It, it is kind of lower. It is in the same it is, spot. It is the is same. It? The My start point. of it. The start of it is in the same spot, but like the actual hole is lower. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What if they had it in the front? The hole? Like, yeah. Like at the top? It, yeah. That means that like it would start at like almost their belly button area. Their vagina would or Honestly, some shit. You guys, you guys are going to think I'm crazy for this. But like that's like been my new sex move I've been trying to learn. Wait. I, I haven't been able to perform it yet. What is it? I've, I've unsuccessfully tried a couple different times. Which? Is, is the front bang standing? Wait. Can you have, Can you envision that? Uh, just so you guys standing? are both standing and facing each other. Whoa! But you guys are fucking straight. You Both are standing. Standing. That's like a very specific proportion. Yeah, you, you have to have the same height. People. Like the height has so to be saying similar. Nappy actually based. needs to be a little bit shorter. Exactly. Exactly. So you're saying than the than the one. Yeah, you have are to you be sure. You have to be matters. shorter. Okay, I because I saw it in porn and I was like, Yo, was it shorter? Was it a shorter guy to I the girl? I, yeah, she was kind of lanky. The thing about porn is they are professional sex workers. That's what they're I, really good at <laughs> sex. <laughs> but that's what I said. That's what I told like my current squeeze. That's why I was you like, can't Yo, do I it. need. I will learn. I will learn to front sex you. If you learn, so what's the stroke? You just get on your tippy toes, like you just bounce up no, and down. It's kind of no. It's you move forward. It's like forward and back. Whoa! It's kind of like you're just rubbing against the top of their vagina, but it's in there still. You need to have them stand on some books. We <laughs> and then you just jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just <laughs> jump a little bit forward. No, just keep on jumping. Uh, all I'm saying is, if you have the opportunity to try, I would not. I would want you. Guys I don't to think try it's very me. pleasurable. I think I'm too tall. I, so okay, I'm gonna try it. I'll send you guys a video. Is it pleasurable? Send us all I'll, of it. Well, I'll send you a video. Send I don't think. It, I I just I I'm imagining it, and it just seems too much work for the pleasure <laughs> outcome. Is not is not worth it. It's high because you get that rubby on the clit feeling too. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Putting you, that energy do you out get there. that though? You care about rubbing on the clit? Well, listen. Yo, a lot listen. of people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, is it I, mental to you? It's I, like, oh yeah, she's she's I, doing I, a good thing for her. It makes me yeah, feel good. No, I, I am. I'm very giving in the bedroom. I am. I'm very. I used to not. No, be. Rem- yeah, I used yeah. to not. In be. the last, in the last part, a couple of podcasts ago, he was talking about how he's like all about the girl and like making sure they're happy. Yeah, I was, I've never heard this. He's like you. news to me. <laughs> completely opposite. Of no, I, I know. I used to be an app. So I used to be like DJ Khaled. I don't know if you guys know, but DJ Khaled doesn't eat pussy. Did you guys know that? I did not know that. Yeah, like that's his thing. That's... That he likes, but like, I guess if you're a boss, you could just be like, "Yo, I don't do that." I and think he has a wife. Kind of so... weak. I think that's kind of weak. That no, no, me too. I, but like, the thing is, I used to in the past, like I would be like, "Yo, I don't like it. I don't do it." But then there was something that came into me that and now, like, now, it's, now I need the vagina. Now I in the to, mouth. Now I need it in the mouth. If you really like a girl, you want to eat the vagina. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. What it is. It's the girls that you kind of just meet like for the first time yeah. that are hella sus. You're like, dude. Oh, you definitely don't want you're that. Like, you're like, dude, do I really got to do this? Yeah, and then I, you yeah. kind of have to, and then you're in there, and you're just like, ah, I don't want this. In my I don't mouth. want it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you make quick work of it, and you just keep it moving. <laughs> you just keep it shuffling. You check the box and then yeah, 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 exactly. You're just like, all right, I want to have sex. Yo, I, did, I did it. I did it. Okay, <laughs> I can't say I never did it. <laughs> Yo, Matt. Now I'm thinking about it though. Like intersex head. Imagine you had both the vagina and the that's dick. That's what I'm fucking you, saying. Just like, like slobber all over, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Literally, clit to balls to shaft. Just you think gotta, about the possibilities. You gotta have a good mouth for that one. <laughs> yeah, you gotta learn the functions there. I told you, I'm trying to get better. Is is watching porn kind of watch, like watching professional sports? No. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. I don't think so. It is. It's watching the best in the world do do the best. Okay. Yeah. That's true, but I feel like the a lot best of. In the world. But I, I feel like I I feel like a lot of like porn stars and like their movements. A lot of them aren't even that pleasurable. So are you saying they're I, basic or too advanced? I think some of them are just so ridiculous that like it's not pleasurable. They're just doing it for the show. But but, it's, but to be honest though, I think that there's some value in doing the different positions because they've been fucking for so long. I mean, they for, probably find enjoyment from I, like the ones that are like are weird. 
I get I get what Jay's sh- saying is that there's like very little like emotional connection or love portrayed in porn. Yes, yes. It's just like hard fucking banging, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what that's I'm saying? True. Which isn't always the most pleasurable thing. Like if yeah. you like, go slow, you know, you but, fucking do but the whole thing. I, I was actually thinking about this. Like, is it weird to like watch lovey dovey porn? Because I can't do it. Like I, when I when I I don't watch, think I've seen that. I have. It's called like Erotic motion or some bullshit. I, I've seen the category. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of like you watch it and it's just like hella slow. They play like slow music with it and it's just like super sensual. Yeah. Like really like just like lovey, like slow, like love making So it's, porn. is it for females or is it for everybody? No, I think females like to watch lesbian porn. I think you're probably I think right. they do too. No, it's weird. I, yeah. I, I don't understand it because like to be honest, I don't like lesbian porn. But it's probably I can't watch lesbian I don't porn. Either. I don't watch. It. I can't watch lesbian I, porn. When I was that was like the first porn I started watching when I was a kid. Lesbian porn. Lesbian porn. You're a lesbian like, guy. When I was a kid. <laughs> well, because like, and then you probably, you probably didn't want to see any dicks. That's right? no, no. That's the thing. Also, <laughs> also, like I didn't like blowjob porn for the longest time until I got a blowjob. It's a lot of dick in the frame. Yeah, yeah. yeah especially if you dick. don't, if you, if you never felt a blowjob before, it's, it's not enjoyable to watch it if you don't know actually how it feels. Wait, what's the worst camera shot in porn? Wow. I so you're talking about like overall, or you're talking about what's the worst position with the camera? The worst frame. Like, that you could watch? I don't even know. I'll tell you. Uh, okay, you oh, tell shit, us. He knows. You tell us. So it's from behind when the guy's hitting the girl from behind. And okay. And you just see a bunch of ass and then balls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot. That's what true. Just, are you, That's are you true. About male what is, ass. What are, are you talking about male ass? Yes, so yes. So the camera's like, like oh, under them. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. no, yeah. I and don't you watch see the that. asshole. I don't watch that. Man gooch. I will turn it off. Oh, you just. I'll be like, next. The next video. Boner killer. <laughs> My sperm meter just, just goes right. way down. <laughs> Let's get over to the meat. We're getting, we're getting a little out of control. Meat, meat, meat. Bring on meat, the meat. Meat, meat. This ain't no vegan shit, bro. I want to see your meat. Oh. Welcome to the meat. <laughs> Iso, let us see your meat. A few cuts of meat. Yo, we should really start making the guests show us their meat. I'll show my meat. Or <laughs> or they have to bring the meat and then show us to hey. bring, bring them like a cut of meat. Be like, yeah. Bring they a cut of meat and you're every choosing. Every guest should bring and some sort of, yeah, yeah like and a ham or turkey. That would be their intro. Yeah. Be like, I brought some sirloin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to change the combo real hard right now. Okay. I don't know okay. if you guys are allowed or you guys even want to talk about this. But you're gonna have to. If we're allowed. If you're, <laughs> if you, I don't, is somebody I stopping me. No. <laughs> Tell me about your biggest regret that you've had to date. Uh, Who wants to go first? I can. I can go first. Okay. Okay. You can go ahead. I know mine, dude. It's sad. That's crazy. Cause I think I know mine, but I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> I think I know, but I don't know. <laughs> you guys are getting me vulnerable on here. Oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. Here's what happened, dude. I was young. I was probably like. Between the ages of six to eight, okay? Okay. And so it could have been seven. For whatever reason, dude, I decided I was going to... I told my mom she was fat. Oh, what? That is crazy. She's not even that fat, dude. <laughs> she's not a big lady, <laughs> She's man. not even that fat. Like, she's, she's kind of fat, but she's not that fat. Yeah. <laughs> she's not fat enough for me to call her fat. That's wild. You know? Wait, why, though? Wait, time out. Is this I don't really know. your biggest regret? Yeah, this is the worst thing I've I mean, I feel like that definitely... Because you realize that's so mean. Dude, dude she mom. went in her closet, bro, and, no. like, cried for hours, bro. That, oh, I mean, think I about like, that. I'm sorry, yeah. and she was like, no, like, go away. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. It was, it was think about a six- or eight-year-old, like, your kid coming up up to you and being like you have a small dick yeah. <laughs> that'd be different that'd be hella different <laughs> you go cry you go, you'd go cry in the closet bro if like, your six year old telling you have a small dick you got a small dick <laughs> would you though know, when you were crying I'd be closet? like what first of all who taught you that word I'd be like who are you yeah. <laughs> like you got a fucking small ass dick bitch <laughs> you're like six you just shit on it yeah <laughs> That's crazy. Your mom Dude, just like yeah. went and cried. And, oh, it said like just like mentally scarred you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that probably trauma, would. Bro. Yeah. That's fucked up. I feel like, that's yeah. Fine. So honestly, what, uh, to be to me though, if that's your life's biggest regret, then I think you're having a very but good I, I would no, say no. so. Right? But I, I would say that yeah. I also I also think that shows his character that his biggest regret is hurting somebody else. Especially your mother. That shows a lot of character. That's a lot. Because that's honestly, if you really think about it, like to me. 
my mom is probably the most important person in my life. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I, no, She's I the only girl that... I ever truly love. Yeah, you your go. mother should be your favorite woman of all time. 100%. Really? No, I don't even care well, who well, the fuck it I depends married. on who your who your mother is cuz there are some fucked up mothers out there, bro. I I've, I've watched true. some documentaries on that. That's true. Are. There are. Like Gabriel Hernandez's mother. I, I, yes, I really yes, think yes. though it's it's whoever had the biggest hand in raising you. Yeah. That's who should be like you should cuz think about it. Like they didn't have to do any of the shit that they had to do for you. Yeah. Like I yeah. like think about having a kid now and I'm like fuck that yeah, like yeah, fuck yeah, all yeah, that yeah. although it's gonna be the happiest day of my life i don't know if you guys knew that being a dad that's like my yeah. life that's like my life I mean, goal for like most men that's like oh thanks that's like, <laughs> He's like top three one of, things one of many yeah. you're just normal yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right how many it's good like, dads are there though I, uh, to me honestly i haven't heard of that many great dads personally i do you have a great dad yeah, I'm a great dad. Sh- shit, <laughs> <laughs> my my dad's dope too. Okay, yeah, let yeah, me not yeah, go yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I always feel like you always hear like the great mom story. You never hear like the great dad story that often. I don't know. I feel like I feel like you do, but I I can see both. <laughs> I can, like, I, no, I, I can see both. I think with with sons, mostly it is a mom story. But I think with yeah. daughters, you hear a lot about like their father. That's interesting. You know, you you, you were always attract uh, not attracted. So <laughs> you always attracted to your parent. That's the opposite sex. But no, it is weird because <laughs> yeah. that's what like Freudian that's, like yeah, shit, like right? The Odysseus complex and shit. Exactly. Yeah. Like right, you, you guys are. What is that shit? You know, you're attracted just, to your mom as a kid. Like that's the you first person. Marry a girl who's like your mom. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's 110 percent true. That's a thing. Exactly. Like, it really is. Like, and that's the same and with daughters like, and fathers. Yeah, it's the electro complex for the. It's like you. You just attracted to what to what puts you on. Exactly, who, bro. Who was yeah. who so me on a light? Such a strong bond. Like, yes, you fucking are that person. Yes. like you can. You came out of your fucking mother, bro. Yo, yes, so you're connected. About. You hung out with her for a long. I ass try not to time. think about that. Weird. <laughs> it's, it's hella weird. Yo, didn't you have a question about uh, yes, parents? Yes, yes. So, like, isn't it like weird to think about like your parents? Like, at our age, I can't even fucking fathom, like, the way my mom was. Like, do you think my mom was, like, in the hallways, like, yo, like, what's up, bitch? Or, like, you oh, know what she, I mean? She's like, a hood, bro. Yeah, yeah. She's, gangster. <laughs> <laughs> she's gangster as fuck. She's like, yo, where's your lunch money? Yo, what Give that she, shit to me what now. What if she's robbing people? And I didn't know about <laughs> she's it. She's a fucking gangster, bro. That like, lifestyle. I always think about it. It's like, dude, like, do, like, was my mom one of, like, the hoe girls? Like, was she, like, a little, like, church girl? Like, I always, like, I'm Did curious. you ask? What if they called her? Cammy, like, what does that mean? Hey, yo, Cammy, yeah. <laughs> like the hood, bro. Yo, Cammy, Cammy, give me your fucking lunch money. <laughs> like, mom, what the fuck? <laughs> but like, that I was thinking about that. It's like, it's like, it's like weird to think that they had what we're going through right now, and it's like weird to think that like when we have our kids, they're gonna have zero idea of like everything we've been through as people. You yeah, know what I mean? I they mean, just yeah. see us as like these old little fuckers. Yeah. And, and to be honest, we have like this whole damn life that they had no idea about. Yeah, I don't even know my parents age 20. You know, that's like a different person almost. That's yeah. 100%. No, when Before my dad was advocates. 25, my age right now, he was in Saudi Arabia fucking working for the docks with like 12-year-olds holding machine guns. Wait, what? <laughs> See, that's some different shit. That's what I'm that's saying. That's some shit I'll never experience. Yeah. like that's Maybe you a- will. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that would be crazy. She could take a turn. Like, like I always just think about like how my kids are going to view me when I'm you yeah. know, 40. I guess it depends on like what the type of person I am. I, hopefully, I'm a good person. I just think they're not going to know about all the shit I did when I was a kid. Like, am they I gonna don't t- need to. Am I going to tell my son, like, yo, bro, like... I used to like do Molly all the time. No, no, no. I think, I think, I think situations like come up, right? So if you're, if you're, if you see your kid and like he did some drugs and you're trying to explain to him like, this is how, how you, you survive. It. I'm like, this it. is how you do it, bro. Yeah. Not, like, not, you know, not roll up the 20, no, 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 like no. roll it up. Like it's just parenting strategy. Yeah. Is like, no, are, you just be like, son, I've been there. Wait, you know? t- yeah, 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 yeah. Are, so wait, are you going to tell your, at what age do you tell your kids that you did do drugs? Well, I think when I have a kid, I probably won't do – I'll probably be, like, completely straight-edge sober for at least the first 18 years of their life. Really? I think that that helped me, like, personally. I don't know about all that. Think about your parents. No, exactly. Were they straight-edge? My, my dad has never, like, drank a sip of alcohol in his life. That's fucking insane. My parents are definitely straight-edge raising me. I mean, my parents are – I think – Well, my mom, my mom like, tries to my swear mom, like drinks, drinks wine my and stuff like that. last night. 
No, yeah, my mom was hammered last night. <laughs> but but, but, but I, just for me, I felt like it really helped me because it showed me some like like role model in my life that didn't necessarily drink alcohol. So I didn't think you had to be like it was cool or anything like that growing up. So I, I didn't like fall for it at a younger age. And that then when sense. they're 18, I feel like, I mean, first of all, you can't control somebody who's 18. And then yeah. second of all, oh, he's like uncontrollable. <laughs> you are like realistically, you're realistically, you you technically are because so, the law isn't on your parents' favor. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I I, I guess because I, I always think like, oh, I'm gonna sort of do something, right? Like I'm gonna have fun. Yeah. Like, have you ever heard your parents having sex? Yeah. Oh shit, I haven't. What really? No. Holy mackerel! I don't think my parents have sex currently. But like well, even not, as a kid, I haven't, yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard you have sex recently. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have, I, I have, that would be weird. I'd be like Camille, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's like weird to no, think no, about. No. It. I've walked in kid. like one time. I like like and I like I knew it was bad. I felt like even yeah. though I was young as fuck, like I just knew not bad, but I knew that I wasn't supposed to see it. Yeah, yeah. It was it's kind of scarring actually. Like I definitely as a kid when like I heard it happening, I was like. This is like not chill. Like I like I didn't fuck with that. What I used to do actually is if I heard it, I started coughing really loud, or I used to like make a lot of noise to let what? them know that like I was that, up. That is some shit. That's some, that's you know some what I mean? trauma shit. That's some trauma. To me, today. to me, to me, I don't think it really like. Yeah, was you that were sitting there like, yeah, mom. <laughs> no, I, get it in. <laughs> no, yeah, just, dad. I, I just felt like it was a natural. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I felt like it was just natural. I don't. I I didn't think it was like, At, like bad. seven. I didn't you know even like girls. Whoa, whoa, let's talk about uh, uh, the first time you ever jacked off. Let's, let's get there. Oh, <laughs> let's get there. Okay. I Well, for me, I, I, I can't remember the exact first time. I know I was watching like something on HBO where they only show the titties. <laughs> and, like they didn't show, they don't show like vagina. Like I remember, I think it was two girls scissoring on HBO, but they didn't show the vagina. It was just like the boobs. Wait, wait were they clothed? No. It was just boobs. Oh, oh, oh. It, it was definitely Wait, a how porn. how do they show it, the it, upper it, part of just the titties on both girls when they're scissoring? Because all you're doing, like, if they're scissoring, yeah. you can have the camera angle on the side of them doing it, and you don't actually see the vagina. I see. Oh, it's kind of like, you see, I don't, I can't visualize it. You don't boob. see, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it just, it just boobs. Were they, uh, that's fair. But okay, but first of all, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just touching it, like I was like literally yeah. like flicking it, kind of, bro. It wasn't like <laughs> I was shit like, just happened I didn't like know that. that you were supposed to jack off or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. I, mean, I thought, teach you. No, I didn't know what I was you doing. You have to you figure remember? it out. I know, I know vividly. I do. Too. I have, a, I have a, I have a vivid story. You, you go. So this is actually a super weird story, to be honest, because it wasn't in the confines of like my own home, which is which is kind of weird. I was at business camp. First off, who <laughs> goes to business camp? I had a fucked up childhood. <laughs> Let me just put it this way. Like every every summer, like everybody else had like two parents. Yeah. My parents were divorced and my mom like worked a lot. So I was just put in summer camp all summer. But that's kind of fun too. Yeah, it was dope because like that's why I feel like I have good personal skills yeah. because I kept going to different camps every week and I had to keep making friends oh, shit. every week. Oh, they were different camps. That's Usually yeah. it was different. Yeah. I would be like basketball camp, basketball camp, baseball camp, baseball camp. Some weird. Oh, I just have YMCA some camp. Some weird Pennsylvania camp where I went and camped, like actually camped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, I had yeah. business camp. Survival camp. Boy Which Scout is, camp. But this was sick though because I was like a young kid and I was, it was at Columbia University. So it was my oh, first, shit. one of my first experiences like sleeping away. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I was actually sleeping at the dorm rooms in Columbia University. So I, I guess I was kind of older. For how, this. yeah, how old were you? I don't know. I was in my teens. When, when was the first time you jacked off? I think probably I think I 12. Like, I think I was like 14. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I was a little bit older. I see. I, I actually can't remember, but I think I was probably like 12, 13. Shit. Yeah, I, I don't know the exact age. W w what grade is that? That's like, like freshman in high school, bro. Oh, no. that makes sense then. A 14 year old is a freshman going into high school. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm just, okay, I'm just that's reassessing my first That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, I think mine was definitely either like 12 or 11. Somewhere I mean, our tw I said twelve, thirteen. Regardless, <laughs> yo, I keep on going down, bro. <laughs> like fucking ten, <laughs> six, fucking bro. Seven. I was just out there. <laughs> All right, so I was I was at business camp. Um, it's kind of weird. I I this is what I remember. I I went and I was taking a shower. I had my uh, I don't I don't know if my roommate or whatever was home. So it was like a dorm room. So I'm in the shower, and then all of a sudden, I just like remember like the shower like kind of hitting my my D. And I was just like, wow, this like kind of feels like kind of weird and good. 
So then, like, I kept letting the shower just, like, hit only my D. (laughs) (laughs) What is this shit? (laughs) I swear to God. This is is exactly how it went down. So so I was, like, confused. And, like, I I didn't really know what was happening. I I know it, like, was, like, (laughs) feeling good. (laughs) I'm just, like, low-key imagining being in the shower and, like, getting hard from the water. You just get stimulated. You just get hit. You're like, oh, that hit that hit. hit." (laughs) You've never used a shower head. It feels good with the water trickling I'm going to try it. it out tonight, yo. Yeah, I'm not going to touch myself. I'm going to okay, try to come so, okay, with the water. Out, time out. That's the, not... the water is going to make me come. It's so that's, powerful. That's, that's... It's not... so powerful. It didn't happen with so just... orgasmic. It didn't oh, happen with the just water. the water. So it started with the water. Oh, so okay. I eventually learned that like I had to like fumble it. <laughs> like You were saying it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I, you didn't know how to like J off. No. You just... You know, you it. just flicked it around and then shit was going down. Yes. So like, I remember like the first time, like, I, I don't know if I got out or I was still in, but I, I remember going into my bed and I think I actually finished in my bed. <laughs> so I was laying down in my bed. Yo, this was a, a fucking three hour, like jack off no, session. No, no. I was in the shower. I, cause I didn't understand it. I didn't know shit came out. I guess I was that naive or something. I, I have probably no didn't. Idea. No, you, you probably, probably right. The first time. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right? I don't. I don't think I remember. You that. know what I mean? Because yeah. you think you know, like people talk about it, but you, if you've never experienced it yourself, you have no idea. Yeah. So I was in my bed. I do whatever. I fumble it around a bunch, and it happens. I was like, "Holy <laughs> fuck!" I was like, "This is the best thing I've ever felt in my entire life." I remember I was just like sitting there like a fucking vampire just, like, <laughs> on my bed with my fucking arms crossed. I like I finish I for some reason though like I wanted to like do it again right after. Yeah. So I kind of started back up and my fucking roommate walks in from the business camp and I just remember sitting there like back in my <laughs> vampire form. <laughs> he walks in and I'm pretty sure like just like the blanket has like a little bump and then it's just me. So he came in I was looking like a vampire and I think I had a boner. And I was like, <laughs> and this kid was like, holy shit. <laughs> this kid was probably confused. I was just like, I, I don't know. I just acted like I was asleep. And then I just <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> so that was like my, my first ever. It's kind of weird because I did it like with somebody around. Yeah. I didn't like it. What about you, Iso? Mine. Okay. So my parents got me this movie. It's called He Got Game. And Ray Allen oh, and Denzel Washington. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. Ray Allen's a, a, like the number one high school basketball player in the country or yeah. whatever. So they gave me this this movie because I it's radar, but I love basketball. They're like Ray Allen's yeah, in it. Yeah. This is cool. We'll it's like, it. yeah, this is your shit, bro. You should jerk yeah. off to Ray Allen. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> and his name is his name is Jesus Shuttlesworth in the movie. And so Jesus Jesus goes to a college to get recruited, and they got the girls there for him. So what happens oh, is yeah. they hook him up yeah, these yeah. two girls. They go to a party, and then they both get him in a room like two blonde like big tip bitches like hot as fuck. Shit. And they yeah. take off their clothes, and it's like some soft porn shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm watching this movie. I'm standing up and like I'm kind of, I'm kind of touching my dick, dude. And at this point, I know that like a dick slides in and out of a vagina. Oh, so you know. Like, so in Fuck. my head, I'm like, okay, I gotta recreate Damn. that that action. So you know, you make the hand. You Damn. just do. Oh, you just okay. Do it, you just do what you do. Yeah, more, yeah, yeah. more advanced than me. More, man. more fumbling. And but, I'm like, but a little strategic. Right. And I'm like standing up for this. And so it, ha- it so it happens. So I like nut. You did and my it body's like up? Sh- my body's like shuddering. Dude. Yeah, you're I'm like, like, I'm, like, I'm like my knees are like bouncing up and down and shit. He's like on a roller coaster, I'm bro. Like, oh my, same thing, bro. I was yeah, like, like, oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> what did I just figure out? Yes, yes, yes. It's literally insane. Like it's like it's just so like euphoric the first time. You're like, oh, I just found Jesus. You know what I mean? Like I was just, I was just in heaven. Do you, do you, you like? Can you come like standing up? For me, coming standing up is actually pretty difficult. Really? Like standing, like actually coming while you're standing up. I n- no. What happens? I because I, I actually say it's I, just I, it's just harder. I like I can do it easier in different positions. To be honest, sometimes if I don't, okay, so let me tell you my jerking off tendencies. Yeah. Sometimes, so every night I do it before I sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like if you need a good night's rest, you jerk you off before. That's just normal. We're <laughs> nice. <laughs> so sometimes, like if I'm not feeling lazy, mm-hmm. I'll do. I'll try to do it before I get in the shower. What do you guys think about that? I think that's a good move because okay. it's, like, it's like peeing in the shower. Correct. Just so just I'll do it standing. I'll do it standing in like before I get in the shower or around the shower. You're probably wondering how do I get the media. 
right? The media. Porn. Oh. <laughs> I, I got it. Damn, so you do so you do it okay, okay. So I'm like standing, watch porn, do it, get in the shower, that's smart. step on my car. Oh, you stand? That's, yeah, watch that's what it, I'm saying. Get in the shower. Oh, that's, that's a routine. That's, that's a routine. That's an every night routine. <laughs> no, 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 no. He said when he's not lazy. When I'm not lazy. Oh. Before shower, if I you just if like I, lay in the bathtub and you're lazy and just like Whoa, mm. no, no, no. I have no bathtub. So <laughs> <laughs> If I'm really feeling up to it, sometimes I'll get in the actual shower from cold, and I'll put the shower on behind me, and I'll watch it. I'll just like put it somewhere nice. with oh, the water running. Nice. Oh shit! That's yeah, like, that's like next level. dude in high school when I would want to text people all the time, I would put in like plastic bag my phone yeah. and fucking text people in the shower. In the shower. That's some bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Of my life. You could do it, but the iPhone is waterproof. Just to let you guys know. Oh, so you go in with it? Yeah. Sometimes I don't like to put. I don't like to submerge it. I put it on the side. And just be watching And I let it, it go. That, yes. Dude, that's interesting. It's, it's dope. That might be game changer for people listening. That's I, it. I, I don't hope know, it is. I don't know if I'm going to do I it. I hope but. it is. <laughs> <laughs> but normally, it's just I'm laying down in my bed, and I have a towel, and I make it normal. Is that okay? Is that yeah. weird? Whatever you want to do. Yeah, okay, no. Man. Nobody's judging you. Man. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I Wait. Am I doing something wrong? No. No. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> just like looking at me like, what the fuck is this kid doing at night, bro? No, it's good. <laughs> I, I used to use socks. Oh, what do you think about that? I feel like that, I feel like people just say that, but I know I've I, never actually. I never that. done it. I've done it. I feel like that shit is like. Ter- like old the- shitty socks that you you'll never use ever again. It's like, a, it's like worse than a condom. Yeah, because like it's it is it it's sort of if you get a silky nice sock. What anything is possible. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. What kind of socks? What brand? <laughs> Let's get an endorsement up in here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I but that's back in the old days. Okay. The new days. Oh, you're I, I, I'm more professional. All right. I use lotion now. I used to like. <laughs> sometimes I like it dry. <laughs> <laughs> easier it is easier yeah. it's not as much work it's not it, you, you don't, don't have smell to... like a fucking whole bag of lotion after you're oh, good yeah 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 <laughs> i don't even know how we got here me talking about me jerking off every night thanks guys yeah what else well Wait, we were talking about our first time i, I think the, i off. think if we go back to the original conversation it was what's our biggest regret oh yes you never and answered. only iso answered, you never answered. Oh, oh, yeah. only so, iso yeah, answered what are you okay well it was hard because for me, I don't, I didn't really know, but I would say like probably law school at this current moment, I'm regretting it because I Fuck. wish, I wish I probably did like psychology more because I think I'm more Ooh. interested in that. You yeah. want to help people out with their brains? Yeah, I, I'm more interested in why people do the things they do than fucking the law. Even though that is part of it, because mm-hmm. like creating the law and yeah. shit like that is all about psychology. I think but, the law is definitely a more functional yeah. degree. And I also think that you could probably get a psychologist job with I a think law degree. Long term, yeah, the law degree will look yeah. really make, good. And you make can, more you can sense. self-study too. Like you can teach yourself up on psychology. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't definitely. think you should regret that as much because yeah, the law de- that that degree will take you a lot farther. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't re- regret like actually learning this stuff. I would yeah. regret just like Spending that it's not something I want to be. Aw, and you just took your bar. Yep. <laughs> it is that what sucks it is. ass. So just pass, put it in your pocket, and if ever in your life you need to practice law, exactly, you're fucking exactly. in that bitch, Jay Felix. Lawyer. Well, I think I'm gonna practice it just to give it a chance. Like I haven't given it a chance yet, so I can't really say I don't like being a lawyer. That's a fact. But it's your biggest regret to go to law school because I don't like law school. So do you think you like being a lawyer? No, probably not. See, I. <laughs> Also, you, you, like, you, you asked this question school? earlier, and I was like, I, I really don't, like, it was kind of on the spot. I haven't really thought about, like, what I re- regretted really that much. Right. Do um, you want to hear mine? Yeah. It's very similar to yours. Okay. Where I feel like I've always known what I've wanted to do, but I've been always too self-conscious to start. Mm. And when I do, I give up. And I don't, I don't like that. And if you want me to be more specific, yeah, probably... Iso shaking his head. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Iso gave the like yeah. a really good. No, no, no. That was really good. That was very specific. But I actually have another story where I, like I accidentally called my cousin fat. She cried. I felt really bad too. So I'm going to put that on the list of shit <laughs> that I regret. <laughs> <laughs> we're the same. Yeah. No, yeah. It was, I understand like what you were thinking. About, like, it's like the worst thing you kind of like say to like a fat person. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, cause then they're like, fuck. Yeah. I'm, like I'm fat. And especially if it was your kid too. <laughs> Yeah, it, when it's family, it's rough. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I feel like I lived my whole life, and now that I'm 27, I'm like, fuck yeah, I could do shit. 
but just similar to Jay, where like I went through a bunch of school, I did the whole damn thing, got my master's, blah blah, blah working at a great company. I don't regret that now. Now mm-hmm. we have fucking coronavirus, and I get to work from home, mm-hmm. getting paid, where everybody else is like kind of SOL. Yeah. So it worked out in that sense, but I just really wish I started content creation as a serious thing of mine and took it seriously when I was like younger and in my twenties, because I've always known I've wanted to do it. I've always known I wanted to like go down this path and I've waited so long. So now I feel like I'm fighting like an uphill battle, but it just kind of sucks. I, I don't necessarily know. Do you, did you really know you wanted to be a content creator? Cause I feel like, like content creation, like at least the term only rose out of like prominence out of the last like seven years. I understand what you mean. Like content creation you want is to a be general a, term. Yeah. But I've always known like that I've wanted to yes. That I've wanted to like entertain people. Like, dude, I had like a vine. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, had yeah, all yeah, this exactly. dumb shit where like I was like taking videos. I was too raw though. Yeah. I still am right now. I really am. Yeah. I, I feel like that's one one downside of of sometimes our content or other shit is that like sometimes we're just like too over the top. I wish I was just like able to like refine it a little bit more, be entertaining and still keep it within that range or that realm where people are not like, oh, fuck, this is like a little too much. Does that make sense? Yeah. But yeah. I mean, the good news is you have started. Right. And the good news is there's hella podcasts out there. So you guys walking over the line it makes you stand out from the pack. You facts. Know? Facts. Because, yeah. No, no, 100%. And, like, I don't want to also... talk about no pussy shit. Like, I'm going to yeah. give you 110%. <laughs> But I feel like sometimes the way I message things, some people might not get it as well. Yeah. Which I don't like, which I'm trying to work yes, on. You yeah. feel like if you had like started earlier that you would be past that stage correct. now? Correct. Correct. Yeah. You just like, again, when you start putting stuff out and you start, you know, delivering content to people, you start figuring out what people receive well versus what they don't. Yes. It's very yeah. hard to know until you start actually like doing it. Yeah. But that's kind of like my life, almost like my life regret. It's right. not like very mm-hmm. specific. It's like, mm-hmm. fuck, I just wish I did things earlier. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't have gotten where you're at right now without everything that you've done before this, you know? Yeah. Like, all your, exper- all your <laughs> exactly. experiences, like, inform what you're doing now. Exactly. Like, this podcast wouldn't be what it is now if you had started it four years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Facts. It would four be years ago, huge. maybe you were on Vine, like, learning the basics, you know? Like, yeah. That's Because you did create content, just not on this scale. So. Yeah. That's really you true. You've just kind of been playing, playing games, and then you just made it. You figured out how you Shit. wanted to organize things. I was 100%. playing games, and then it got together. fucking real. Yeah, it always gets real. Eventually. I fucking hate that. Yeah. What is that about? That's life, bro, because life matters. <laughs> so you can't just play games. I get the whole so time. confused. But does life matter? Oh. Okay, that so was the, not the Horn Hears Okay, the okay. So <laughs> so I was watching a movie, Horn Hears a Who, and if you watch it, it's about this elephant who hears sounds coming from a little speck on the ground. And basically in the speck is a whole nother world of like l- other creatures living in it. Who's they're called who's. <laughs> And uh, they're living in their own city and stuff like that. It made me think, like, what if this world right now is such a speck? If you look at the universe, it's expanding so, so much. And it's like to infinity. That's how big the universe is. And we're just like a little tiny molecule in it. And that makes me kind of depressed a little bit because it's like, why the fuck? Like, do we even matter? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like to think we don't. (laughs) <laughs> but like, i like to think we don't you like to think like, you like it no well that's honestly just my philosophy okay because like that's the thing is i don't i don't really we talked about this before yeah back in uh jesus the ultimate marketer um which is i don't really believe in god i don't i don't believe in there being some sort of afterlife i kind of just feel like like we are just one with nature like just what happens to like the life of a coyote like he lives like he gets born he does shit he kills shit he fucking probably bangs other coyotes or yeah. something that's like what i'm doing right now it's like i'm living i'm like a bang some things and like i make a little bit of money and i'm like happy and that's that's my life and that's that there's nothing else to it so are you happy yeah fuck with it okay, okay. See, that's the thing though is that like I-, I find happiness in the fact that i just was given the opportunity to be alive like are there, there things that matter to you in life shit no. <laughs> so nothing no, no, matters. No, 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 no. Like, things, yeah. things matter. Things matter. That's what makes life but matter. Just, but, but just like, uh, I don't know. To me, it's honestly just helping other people be happy. That's what makes me happy. That's the only thing that makes me happy, actually. Right. Like, because like, yeah, happy. yeah, yeah. It's like, if that's why I think yes. I'm in the line of work exactly. that I want to be in is just, I want to like give people happiness on a large fucking yes. scale. Yes. That's all it is. Yeah. No, I don't indeed. think that there's anything else. I don't take life seriously at all. Yeah. Really. I really yeah. don't. Even yeah. at my job, that's mega serious. I go in there. I'm like, 
here's a Fruit Loops deck, here's a bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, working yeah, on very professional yeah. shit, and I'm still throwing out all the Chris Nappy like little clown shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't what know. What about you? I don't think you have to be like serious all the time to be spiritual, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think for me, it's just like knowing that all this shit isn't random, bro. That like mm. my thoughts oh, and my emotions and my actions really do matter, and then like I create everything around me. You know I believe saying? that. You I take total that. responsibility for it, and it's like I would be like, I don't know, my ego would be huge if I thought that I could do that alone, bro. It's because everything's connected, everything's yes. together. Yes. So like, so yeah, I feel very. I feel like for me, life matters for like connection, bro. Just to feel like so we you're are saying the same. that you're even though it's such a little 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 place. tiny place in in the grand scheme of society as a whole and through the history of mankind yeah at the end of the day you feel like you still made an impact no matter even if it's on a percentage scale minuscule same thing as you dude yeah I just want to help other people feel good man right and um, that means a lot of different things for a lot of different people but yeah religion and remove that's what everybody wants yeah growing up for me. I like I used to like have dreams of like I would want to be like the next like Gandhi and Jesus and shit like Jesus. that. Not like not like Dude, you not, are to me. Not not like <laughs> not like actually like Gandhi. peaceful and shit like that. The the reason I wanted it is just because these people are so well known for so such a long time that they made such an impact on this earth and that, that's what I always like felt like that's the only way that I could really help society or like is make a name so big for myself that like I transcend, I like transcended history. like my generations. Yes. Yeah. So you want to make history. Yeah. You want yeah. to leave a legacy. But now I don't necessarily know if I want that. Yeah. I, see, one thing I will say about that, I feel like there's a lot of people that are like that. That are like, "Yo, I need to like live, like leave this big legend." Think about anybody throughout the history of time. Like, uh, for, on the whole, let's just say George Washington. Yeah. Everybody knows George Washington's name. He's on the dollar bill. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Does 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 George Washington really fucking affect your life? Well, probably a little it, bit. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely affects our lives a little bit. He because definitely, yeah, he yeah. he affected it. For in sure. the long <laughs> but, 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 hey, this is what I'll say. Wait, also, wait, wait. but yeah, but, but I will also say George Washington's wife also affected my life. Right, that's what I'm saying. The, so but, I, I but think that's you affect it, but the, I, I. But that's my point saying. is that everybody. I don't think just because you're more well known. You actually have no exactly. A, a That's what I, impact. Maybe you kind of do you a little bit, do. like, but but at the same time, it's like I don't know. I mean, maybe you're right because I think if you even look the, look at the Kobe Bryant thing, yes, you yeah. see exactly. all these people like yeah. crying. I'm like, dude. That's kind of weird to me. It's like, especially if you didn't know the dude personally, I think it's weird. But think people about like get like yeah, I mean, like emotional over that. I mean, but think well, about I'm music, sick, though. You know, like you just ha- had that big of an impact that people you never met are like, hey, yeah, really that's just maybe weird because I've never experienced it myself. But I feel like you have. So when you listen to music, you get energy from that music 100%. you're playing, right? So the artist is doing that for hundreds or millions of people around the that's world. That's really true. So he's spreading that energy to right. all these people. So that's you are affecting goal. people. That is right. You are right. Yeah. It, that is the ultimate goal. I, I guess you want to leave that lasting, lasting impact. Yeah. And only, the only way to, at least for us, we think to do that is by touching so many people at once. Exactly. Yeah. And that sounds real fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just to touch or, all of you guys. <laughs> or, just, or just touching your family deeply. You know? Yeah. yeah. But, but <laughs> see, throughout your I family. used to, see, my mind used to flip though. I, back in the day, I used to think, and like before we just had even this conversation, was... I just like the fact of like affecting, impacting somebody's life personal to me. That makes like the biggest, like, that's the biggest thing for me. Like I want to know I personally had a relationship with you and I changed your life. Cause I feel like that's how you change yes. it the most. Yes. Because at the end of the day, you could help somebody change their life and they don't know, you don't, again, we don't, we've never hung out with Kobe, bro. Exactly. He could have been a dick. Yeah. Like, you know he what I mean? Was. He probably was. And you just don't really know. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're more in love with his story than yes. really who he 100%. was. 100%. You know what I mean? What I he want, represents. Right. His legend. Yes. yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I think I like more the impact I make yeah. on the people that are yeah. direct to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, to me, is so much more powerful. Yeah. In, yeah. My, in my opinion. No, I feel like teachers are probably the biggest, like helpers of like transforming who people are completely. yeah being a teacher is dope just for yeah. that fucking reason you know what i mean it's just yeah. that alone building those like relationships with all those kids yeah that's fucking sick yeah. but anyways all right let's get to the lightning round we've uh we've been going at it for a little yeah. bit yeah so here we go lightning round all right 
So that's how it's going to work. You got a question for us, but we have two questions before we get to that. So first one, would you date a woman or a man? Again, I don't know your guys' preferences. Uh, that is over eight years. Well, that is older than eight years old. That is eight years older I thought, than you. I thought, I thought the question was It had to be a woman. It a had woman. to be a woman. Yes, it had to, yes, I don't know why yes. I said preference. I'm sorry. Yes, that yes, was wrong. Yes. A woman. We're all somewhat yes, straight. Yes. And you were you were against it last night at least. I wouldn't date a girl that's eight years. I would bang a girl that's eight years older than me. I wouldn't date a girl that's eight years older than me. No Do offense. You, like by the time, think about it, when she's 40, I'm in my mid 30s. No, thank you. I would be down for, I would marry her. Fuck out of here. If she was, a, <laughs> if she was, if she was like, if she was what? a, no, a you like wouldn't. millionaire, bro, I would definitely. Okay, you fucking gold digger. <laughs> that I would be. I dude, yeah. if, girl, if girls can do it, bro, I definitely will do it. If, if I get that opportunity, I'm. All right, but here's it. the deal: if you marry her, you're gonna stay with her forever. I'm, I'm just saying it now. You're stuck. I don't think so. He's gonna, he's gonna that's get a divorce. Kind of, yeah. That's <laughs> kind of the nice thing about an older woman. You're like, yes. she'll get old. That's exactly. what I'm saying. Have a second life after. Exactly. That. That's what I was saying though. You know? It's like eventually it's gonna expire. Exactly. But no, it's like getting old milk. Like it's cool. <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. But <laughs> but but I don't know. I would do it. I like it. I'm a fan of it, honestly. Yeah. So you guys would legitimately date a girl that is eight years older than me, yeah. uh, older than you. Yeah. If she, no, if you she wouldn't. Had, if I liked like, her, yeah. yeah. If no, I liked you wouldn't. Her, if I liked her, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? All right. Like, Fine. if you didn't Fine. like, if you liked a girl who was eight years older than you, but then later found out that she was eight years older than you, you'd be like, no, I'm not down. I, I'd be like, yeah, I'm down. Let's do this for about another five. And then, <laughs> and then what's that? Five years, six you years, you and then can... she'll expire, and then we'll be good. Dude, what does this expire, bro? They don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't die, bro. <laughs> But it's just gonna be weird. It's guys that expire it's, more than girls. I feel what? like. Are you on crack, dude? Guys are the ones that like can't get hard when they're older, bro. First off, you're forgetting about menopause, and you're also but forgetting meta- about what this. Is, menopause. Just you're means gonna they have, can't have hard periods. on until you're at least fifty plus, but right? Me- wait, menopause. They just can't have periods. Right? I don't really know what it means. That just all that means. <laughs> <laughs> none of us. None of us know. What I know. Is. No, all it means is that like they they stop I having. I just thought periods. they just gotta go on pause from sex. That's that's what I it's related. A, it's to. a men pause. It's that's a men pause. Men pause. Men a pause. I don't. I don't know. Pause, man. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. Maybe they are more horny during but, that time. Uh, definitely. So you just said that you just said that it pops But it doesn't mean I like it. I I feel like if I'm like a 35 year old stud, right? Which I should be by the time I'm 35. Yes, yes. And she's like 44? What what? That's different. Come on. It's different when you get in your yeah, 30s. But yeah, that's yeah. my point. No, if I'm in no, my no, 20s, no. I would You're date a girl in her 30s. Now. If I'm in yes. my 30s, I wouldn't okay. date a girl in her 40s. Fine, fine. Okay. Unless unless she I was thinking like, oh, it's gonna last. I'm sorry, guys. Would I you thought it was gonna last? Would you date a 90 year old though? Jay, tell me not. <laughs> Wait, tell what, me what, not. What, would you no? <laughs> nine zero. If she, okay. nine zero. Yeah, if she was like, if she had a lot of money, she's she's all about <laughs> the money, bro. Because when I think about Watch an older out, woman, when I think about an older woman, I think, oh, she's like, because you're older than me, you you, you have, automatically have wealth. Yeah, I don't Jay. know. <laughs> When they're ninety, they have no more money left. Unless, They've run unless out of it they all. were they're, on they're expiring, like, they're, bro. Yeah, they're one. They're ex- almost yeah. But they're that's way the point. Past that's expiration the point. Day. That's the point. <laughs> that's my point. But the thing is, they don't it's have a lot of money. It, no, when you're that old, that's you're not 60, true at all. You're sixty years that past. Is bullshit. You're, you're sixty years past. No, nope. from you working. Have you ever heard of wills, bro? Where where like I've heard people, of a will where people die <laughs> where people die and leave millions of dollars to their fucking descendants. How do you know what's that? Doesn't right, happen for everyone. Yeah, exactly. But that, crap. I'm saying I wouldn't die d- date a homeless ninety year old. No. I, I would, <laughs> what? I'm only dating a ninety year old. The question that, is not the, age, not yeah. money, Jay. <laughs> Money makes he day. He's like, I don't care what age, as long as they got a million dollars. They nine nine year old. Twenty. I no, not nine shit. year old, bro. What is you the millionaire? Yeah, bro. Jay's like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm trying to adopt her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Next question. Uh, this question I wrote down kind of sucks, so I'm gonna try to just explain the scenario, and you guys tell me what you feel. So let's say coronavirus lasts more than a few months. So right now yeah. we predicted only a couple weeks. I see a couple people predicted nine months. It could be months before we could actually start doing shit. What is like your biggest fear? And what is your biggest hope that you mm. hope to complete as a result of this time period? So what do you think is going to suck about these next three, four months? Or what do you think is going to be the biggest benefit in the next three to four months? 
for your life. What's going to suck is that I'm going to be inconvenienced, which is like a very small deal. Yes. You know, like if grocery stores are sold out, like if I can't go eat at my favorite restaurant, if I can't travel, you know what? Like, that's I'd be gonna okay. Suck. Yeah. Um, getting it would suck too. Um, yeah. I would rather just not be oh, sick. Oh, true. I forgot about actually getting it. I don't know. For me, I... Jay wants it. Earlier, I was thinking, I really did kind of for a while just to say, yo, Wait, I, what? just to say, like just for, say, yo, just for a second, I was, I yo, really I was, did put it in your bio. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, survivor. exactly, yo, <laughs> I, yo, I got the corona. Yeah, but like, what, what do you guys hope to get out of it, too? Um, I know you have some big plans. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a whole... It, it honestly came out a good time for me because I'm working from home. Same, same. I'm preparing for some things and it's giving me time to like do research online of like, you know, just ways I can spitball the money game, you know? So I'm just using the time to, to get behind that. Yeah. That's what I hope to get out of it. I think for me, yeah, it's, it's learning to create amazing content. By the end of this fucking coronavirus outbreak, I want to come out being making movies, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Straight up, not like I'm me down shooting. Like I'm not Steven Spielberg, but I'm out here. I'm making some dope ass shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to be able to like learn all that shit in the next three months and really go yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do when you're inside the whole time? Uh, Jay's like nothing, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really know. I didn't. I didn't have a plan yet. I didn't plan it out. So oh, far, shit. I'm just living in the moment. I saw. Uh, I saw. He's one of those. He's yeah, living in the moment. The question. What are you yeah, gonna what are you bro? gonna accomplish, dude? Shit, no. I guess nothing. Why are we hanging out with this guy? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, just chill, I guess. That's what it sounds like. Wait on your test scores. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a couple classes that I'm still taking. You got a hobby? You go fishing? Uh, well, I just I play basketball every week. But oh, you trying? I did that before Corona. Wait, what if they shut down the parks? They won't. Oh, yeah. they, already did it. they already did in California. The, the parks and everything well, are shut we, down. We go to actually a uh, elementary school. So, like, that sounds good. So, nobody's there, anyways. It's not a park, it's an elementary All right, school. So, you're going to do nothing this whole break. I'm going to play basketball and go to the class. And I, do, I, saw, I don't know. Be normal. This guy, bro. Be normal. <laughs> what you, are, is this, is this, is it, is this a it's new it's year? It's an interrogation. It's, no, it's like, a, Jay, you better do something with no, your fucking life, you're, bro. You're, 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 you're making it seem like it's like a New Year's resolution, it bro. Is, it it's is. coronavirus. It's completely... Oh, your life is about to change. Wow. For the next three months, you're not going to be able to do shit. You think you're going to have the parks, but they're going to be closed. I will figure out how to play basketball. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? His, his biggest hope is to play basketball for the next three months. That's it. Just because you're like stuck at home. I mean. Exactly. What what do you do anyways? I, we just normally, told you. We just, we just told just, you. Okay. Okay. Normally, I would have to actually go into class. Now I can stay home and have class. The same thing. Correct. But are you going to do anything because of all this time you have? It's not extra time. I still have I still have to go to class the same amount of time. I still have to do everything the same. For me, it's not changing other than I'm at home versus in school. We don't like this guy right now. All right, I so <laughs> Maybe your guys' jobs tell right, us right, your right, question right. before. <laughs> all right, let me paint the picture for you. Okay. Navi, you're going to answer this question first. Yes. All right, Navi, you're strapped in to a space shuttle. Okay. Um, no one's there to see you off except for Jay. You have two Sick. words. You have only two words. You oh, haven't spoken to hard. Jay oh. in six months. That's fucked up. That, two we would have had him podcasting every Sunday. Out. We would have and, podcasted uh, every every Sunday. Not for some this, reason. For some happen. reason, we had we both it, had coronavirus. It, it podcast, yes. For six months. You have two words to say to Jay before you blast off in a in a spaceship to the moon. Fuck. What do you say? I would say I love. <laughs> <laughs> And he'll just That's never it. know. He'll just never know if it was you. Yo, it was, he'll I, never know who I, it is. I would have to try to figure it out. Yeah, you know, I, I, I would have to. He would think his life goal. Yeah, it would be a mission, bro. Yeah. So but, I could tell the I could tell the person, bro, yeah. like, who you were talking about. Yeah, but you'd have to figure it out. I would. I'd be Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> and then, like, the whole end of the movie is, like, you talk to all these people. Like, you talk to, the like, movie. my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> now it's a movie. No, 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 it's a movie. It's I a movie. It's called I Love. It's just called I Love. And then yes. Jay goes through this whole elaborate scheme, tells all, like, my exes, and then they find out that I really said it to him. Yes. And at the end of the movie, he realized it was about friendship. Yeah, and the last scene is, like, you just frozen in space, just floating off. Yeah, yeah, and I have, like, Jay written on the window. Yeah. Oh. You can, like, fog up your, like... <laughs> Astronaut helmet. <laughs> That's how I figured it out, bro. Yeah, I get like this super micro. Like, you make scope. a telescope. <laughs> I found him. 
<laughs> it says J. <laughs> All right, J. All right, what's your oh, you, have two, oh, you have two oh, words oh. to say to me before you're leaving. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Shit sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be like peace, dude. <laughs> I can say peace, dude. Yeah, that's peace, shit, dude. Shit sucks. <laughs> bye. <laughs> that'd bye. Kinda, that'd be kind of weird. I, I, but I, we talked about this on an old podcast too. I, like, if I could colonize Mars and there was only like 50 oh, people, yeah, and there was a whole utopia out there, anything. A utopia. No, no, oh, utopia. He wants to create the utopia. Yes. There's no utopia no, no, no. set up. Okay, imagine if like Elon Musk just threw down like poof. Like he threw down a bubble and had like houses in it and like regular shit, like regular people's shit, like grocery stores and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sounds scary. Utopia. So it means it it's has like everything. It's like the Truman Show. Not a utopia. Yes, it's like the Truman Show. That's terrible. So it sounds bad. But I want to be like if they said you need to go to like we have to select 50 people to go populate this new place, Mars, and you can't come back. You got to just go and just like fucking bang and make it happen. <laughs> I would go. Bang and make you it would happen. go. I would go. If you He's told me right now, all I would your go. family behind you're we, leaving. We want to talk about George Washington. I'd be the George Washington of Mars. You would. So you do care about leaving a legacy. Exactly. If, so it, was, if it was matters. Mars. So if it was matters. Mars. If it was Mars. Everything else, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Only if it was Mars. <laughs> Only if it was Mars. Because I got my own planet. What about Venus? That would be sick. If you're offering me a planet, how am I going to say no? You don't have your own planet. I don't have Elon, it. Elon Musk I owns the planet. I don't yes. have You're a little plebeian. Yeah, no, no. You'll never be great. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Yo, you <laughs> shitting on you already. Your dream. I, but the thing is, I would be, so I said, I, I would be, I would be the president. They would offer me that slot. You'd just be president. That yeah, he's just, yeah. He's just having dreams. He's like, ah, no, no he's better like, candidates than they're, you. They're no. going to make me president. Well, I'm going to live on Mars. They have to get 50 people that will go and leave their whole life. So, so not a lot of people can would you go and do it. imagine the people you would be That's on That's what Mars I'm saying. With? They would I all know. want to be president. There's got to be at least one hot girl. You hope. What if yeah. there's not? That's what I'm saying. What there. if there's not? I got to take the highest. I'll take the highest bidder. <laughs> the highest bidder? <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I would just make a dope society. My name would be on the dollar bill. We'll That's see. all I really care about. We'll would see. you go? To Mars? Yeah, if they were like... Oh, yeah. no. I probably I, wouldn't. Jay was like, nah. I, yeah. w- I would not go. You would, you would leave your whole life behind. Yeah. To go live on a fucking other planet. And it's going to be hard. Be fine, dude. And it's going to change. There's a sky. There's an ocean. That's what I'm saying. I'm... You guys are here in your comfortability. No, Mars blanket, sucks. And I'm going to go out there in the world and create something new, motherfucker. I don't think you yeah, would be able to. No, Yo, do you think you could survive you in the woods? Do you think you could survive in the woods? Then you can't survive in fucking Absolutely. Mars. If you gave me one match. Uh, <laughs> that's what you need. Uh, yeah, like one you, you sharp need flint. stone. You don't yeah, need you a need match. One sharp stone, a match. You uh, don't need one match. You uh, need flint. It's about like, a two, you saying a match. A, two a match is gonna help you. A two foot rope for what? what you, uh, yeah. A two foot rope. That's very small. I, that's what, what I need. What is the purpose of the rope? <laughs> I, I to choke animals, gadgets. choke choke that's bears. That's insane. You guys aren't thinking about this stuff. I can do a lot. Uh, <laughs> what else? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just like a pair of like FUBU pants. Okay. You know Why? We gotta, <laughs> get out. You we gotta get out of this. We gotta get out of this. All right. That's our show. Thank you, ISO, for coming on the show. Um, what is you? You have any Instagram handles? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. want to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like your own little thing. Yeah. Uh, this is ISO. Been an honor to be here. Yes. Uh, best place you can find me at is Instagram. That's going to be ISO nice, but it's spelled ISO on ice. So, ISO on ice. ISO. So if you ever want to see ISO on ice, just just yeah. look that up on Instagram. We'll put it yeah. in the comments of the the show notes. I do yoga. You can meditate with me on Insight Timer, free app. Search my first name, Isaac. First Isaac on there. Yeah. Awesome. That's pretty sick. That was a good yeah. plug. I'm proud cool. of you. Food All right. Pants. Yeah, and then uh, we'll probably post this episode on YouTube. Go to our YouTube at Nappy and Jay. Go to our Instagram at Nappy and Jay. Go to our website www and that's what it's about. Thanks nice. for coming. Thanks for coming, Iso. Food with pants. Yo, this was like one of my favorite podcasts. I'm not gonna lie. It was good, man. I had fun. It was it was wild. It was it was I really wild. Covered a lot of ground. I talked about my dick a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs>